Alright then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I'm back with another... I guess this could be a technical flashback Friday, but a redraw Friday. Now, this is something really cool because this is, as you can see at the top, volume two because I made several of these in middle school. And this is when I really started to <laughs> take drawing super seriously it was in the sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade. This is the seventh and eighth grade and I just wanted to show you guys really quick. This is just really really cool because I made a comic. I made a comic uh, about every other week for my friends and I and these are photocopies so I would go and take those little Crayola books that I showed you and I would fill them completely with these comics of my friends and I. And I actually got inspired by another girl on the Disney Channel, how she would actually go in and draw her friends in these comics. And I thought, hey, this is a pretty cool idea. Let's, let's, I wanna try this. Oh, all the memories. And you can see that my style of characters, no one really looks, everybody looks kind of the same. And everybody just has like different hairstyles and what they look like. and. Just just some small similarities here and there. <laughs> Anyways, this should always be like a huge inspiration to all of you that if you don't know where to draw, then make sure you just start with your friends. And if you don't have friends, which is horrible because it's probably not true, then draw yourself with your family members or your dog or pet or anything. Something's got to inspire you or your imaginary friends. See? Look at all this. It's just it's fun it's fun 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 and that's always a fantastic way to go ahead and draw and it's just like there's no storyline really it's just me and my friends interacting with each other half of it is a little bit made up but my friends lived for these comics because I would pass them out at the end of every other two weeks and they just they loved it so much this is why I kind of freaked out and didn't do well in middle school <laughs> actually I have an idea how about I draw myself as my character again except without the earring because that is gone <laughs> so let's go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and draw myself as a cartoon character just to go ahead and signify what I did with these good old days of comic book making let's do it so when I decided to draw myself as a cartoon character I thought that just to put a spin to it if I were to do a comic book right now my friends or my family or with my boyfriend or I don't know if I were to do something like that right now I would put a meet the artist at the front of my comic book so it would just introduce myself and it would introduce a different character so I would do it for like each and every single character that I was going to draw a comic for just if I were ready to go ahead and do a comic and I think that's a great way to also start off a comic book. So if you yourself are considering, oh, I really like this idea that Priscilla's talking about. Maybe I should draw myself with my cartoon character, uh, my friends as cartoon characters, or with your imaginary friends. I have made several, several, several books based on me with my imaginary friends. I have to show you guys that one too. I have to recreate some of my old imaginary friends, which were just original characters, but I didn't really have a story for my original characters. So I just, I just interacted with them myself like I could see them. I was the only one who could see them. So that's how I, uh, imaginary characters, that's how I interacted with them and I made comics of them as well. This, when I made comics of my imaginary friends, I did it in high school as opposed to my middle school comics because I really just loved my middle school friends and my high school friends. I love them, but I didn't really have a connection with them like I did with my middle school friends. Now, when I decided to do this Meet the Artist doodle, if you guys have checked out the hashtag on Instagram or if you checked it out on Pinterest, oh, there's so many pin Pinterest um, Meet the Artist. It's hashtag Meet the Artist and you can go and check those out. Basically, you draw yourself in your cartoon style yourself. <laughs> you are your original character. So that's what I did. I've done a couple of these before and I just never liked anything I made. But when I started this one, I just thought, oh, this doesn't look that half bad. Okay. I, I kind of like this because I don't know about you. Do you, I don't know. Leave in the comments down below if you feel this way. Do you have problems with drawing yourself? Because... 
I just, I've never liked drawing myself, but do you have problems with it? <laughs> even if it's in a cartoon style, not realistically, but even in a cartoon style, I was kind of like, eh, I don't really want to do this, but I wanted it to be cool. And I, and if I were to do a comic book right now, or just a little comic series, I would do this right here, this style, me, and my dog, <laughs> which everybody calls Snowbutt. Her name is Jazzy, and I had to have her somewhere in there. And because I freaking love my dog. <laughs> so I went ahead and put my little Snowbutt, because that's what we call her, because she's got a big white fluffy butt, and she's the color of snow. So <laughs> that's what I had to do. Oh, look at my supplies. I didn't include e everything that was in my bag. This is my bag, and these are the things, because a thing with um, Meet the Artist is you're supposed to draw like your book bag, or your bag, or your purse, and what you carry around in it. So I only, I didn't put everything that's in my bag, because I could survive in the wilderness with what's just in my bag. But I only put my laptop, my tone tan sketchbook, my ELO sketchbook, um, my pencil case, my headphones, because if I don't have my headphones, I'm gonna die. <laughs> and I also included my planner, so those are the main things that I, I love and use every single day. And if not in my bag, it is catastrophe. <laughs> and I didn't, uh, my bag is such a floral mess. I didn't want to go too crazy with it. And I don't understand why am I, why did I decide to do pink floral shoes with my blue floral? That doesn't match Priscilla. I mean, it's just typical of me because I never practically match with anything I wear <laughs> with any outfits. I am not a fashion guru. I just wear what I want. <laughs> and I went ahead and threw on my Apple iWatch and all the fun stuff, all the little gadgets. Yeah, it's just, it's interesting to go ahead and revisit how I would draw myself as a cartoon character. And I just keep thinking about it. If I were to go ahead and start making comics again for anybody in my my friend group I just I don't know I think it would just be fun because my life is so interesting and there's so many memorable moments on how I could make a comic book I, I, I don't really know. Have you guys ever been inspired to create comics based on your own life as opposed to making fantasy stories? <laughs> I, it's, it's a crazy question, but have you ever felt that way? That maybe your life is a little bit more interesting, so you... It's like writers. You write what you know. And it always makes the best kind of stories instead of writing fantasy stories. So have you ever felt that way as an artist that making comics based off of your own life you find it more interesting and more easy to illustrate as opposed to making fantasy comics leave in the comments below i'd love to know your thoughts so here we go here is my hashtag meet the artist and you know this is just a different approach to drawing myself from these comic book days in middle school now i really do encourage you guys if you have not tried to draw yourself as a comic book character, just create a scene with your friends. Create a scene a day, or create a scene a week, and then give it to them at the end of the year. They will flip out, and they will love you so much. They will go nuts if you make a comic book of them, because it really is the best gift ever. And maybe it's just since school is coming up to the end of spring semester, maybe you could pass it out with yearbook signing. I don't know, it's a fun, different way and it's a really great gift to say goodbye to friends. If you're a senior and you're graduating this year, get ready to go to college. This is a great way. As an artist, share your gifts. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope you all have a most wonderful day. Give the comic book a try. If not, give yourself a try. As in, meet the artist. Draw yourself as your character. And throw it up on Instagram. And go check the other meet the artists. It's a lot of fun. I'll see you all later. Bye!